Windows in the Mary of the Angels Chapel. Bavarian windows. Over 100 panes of Bavarian glass created by the Bavarian Art Institute of Munich, Germany. Add light and beauty, as well as history and sacred memories to our Mary of the Angels Chapel. Verification of the authenticity of these windows can be found lettered on two pictures in the balcony. Royal Bavarian Art Institute for Stained Glass, F.X. Zettler, Munich. Rose Windows Three large rose windows, common to our type of church architecture, grace our chapel on the south, north, and west sides. Each window displays a symbol in its center of faith, hope, and charity. Faith is symbolized by a cross, hope by an anchor, and charity by a heart. Windows in the main chapel, main level. There are eight double windows of Bavarian glass below the gallery in the nave of the chapel, which depict the symbols of the passion of Jesus. Keeping with the name of the chapel, each of these windows has a depiction of an unnamed angel. Each angel is different, but each is holding a symbol that pertains to the passion of Jesus. The first double window on the south side shows a lantern, the chains, and the rope used to bind Jesus. The second double window shows the gloves and crown of royalty, as well as the blindfold. The sword of Peter the cock that crowed, and the 30 pieces of silver are all familiar to readers of the Passion narratives in the Gospels. The third set of windows contains the pillar of scourging, the instruments of scourging, the crown of thorns, and the reed with which Jesus was struck. The fourth double window shows the ewer and the basin used by Pilate, hoping thereby to absolve himself of the blood of the innocent one, Jesus. Here, too, are the words of Pilate's inscription, I-N-R-I, Jesu Nazarenus, Rex Judeorum, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The axe and bundle of rods are symbols of Roman power over life and death. The trumpet was used to announce the death of an important criminal. On the north side of the chapel, in the fifth double window, is pictured the hammer and nails, plus the veil of Veronica. The sixth window depicts the ladder, spear, and cross of crucifixion. The vase of sweet spices used to anoint the body of Jesus, along with the seamless garment, and the dice used by the executioners when casting lots for that garment are shown in the seventh window. The eighth double window portrays the pierced heart of Mary, the mother of Jesus, together with the bitter cup, symbolizing her great grief. The partner window shows the Lamb of God bearing the banner of victory, symbolizing Christ's glorious triumph over sin and death. The south transept portrays Duns Scotus, a Franciscan theologian and scholar publicly defending the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception in the midst of other scholarly theologians. Another double-pane window shows Jesus blessing the children. Peter and John show their displeasure when Jesus tells them to, Suffer the little children to come to me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The wise and foolish virgins are found in the north transept along with Christ, the bridegroom, who is standing on a slightly raised step. The parable depicted here reminds us Franciscan sisters of our own efforts to be among those who are wise. Another double-pane window depicts Mary being presented in the temple by her parents Anna and Joachim sisters may be reminded of their own departure from home, as well as the impact their leaving probably had on their families. 